Hello, I'm Becky, and today I'm going to take you through 10 seated strength exercises for osteoporosis. You wanted it, you needed it, you asked me for it, and so now here's a quick video that you can do every day, that you should do every day, to help you feel stronger, feel better, build your muscle strength, build your stamina, and build your bones. We're going to start off with four warm-ups, and then we're going to go into the 10 exercises. Everything's done seated. When we get into the exercise portion, we're going to do the exercise for 50 seconds. I have a timer set up here, and we'll rest for 10 seconds. So I'll be watching the timer. You can also watch it. You can see it in the video, and we'll go through that set of 10 exercises, 50 seconds of work, and 10 seconds of rest. Okay, so enough said, we're gonna sit tall. You're gonna need a chair with no arms because we're gonna be moving a little bit and the arms would get in the way. So a chair with no arms, put it on a sturdy surface so you don't slip. You're gonna sit tall through the whole video. So we don't want any rounding, any slumping. You don't want your back uh, moving, slumping back to the back of the chair. We're lifting, we're sitting tall. And it's just 10 exercises, and then you can go rest. Then you can rest on your couch or your easy chair. But during this session, you want to make sure you sit nice and tall. Now, you can do the weights. I'm going to do these exercises with no weights, just giving myself some resistance. But you can use cans, cans of food, like this, right, for the exercises. You can use water bottles, same thing just gives you a little bit of weight. Or you can use dumbbells, one pound, three pounds, five pounds. I would suggest starting with no weights. Once you're feeling really good and, and pretty confident with all the exercises, the whole routine, then maybe take some water bottles or some food cans and see how that goes and then progress up to maybe a, a three pound or a five pound weight. But you go slow at your own pace. I want you to also rest so as we're going through the 50 seconds, if you feel like you need to rest, just take a little breath and then join in until those 50 seconds are done. Then we're going to rest for 10 seconds. So let's start with our warm-ups. You're going to sit tall. My back is a little bit away from the back of the chair. My knees are stacked over my heels. And we're going to just do some uh, exercises for our neck, some movement for our neck. So keeping your chin parallel to the floor. You're just gonna turn and look to the right, look to center, look to the left, look to center. We're not timing these. To the right, center, to the left, center. So this just helps you with your range of motion, right? In the neck, in the shoulders. To the right, center, left, center. One more time, right, center one more time left center and bring the arms down by your side we're going to take some shoulder rolls bring the shoulders up pull them back and roll them down give yourself some imaginary resistance here so working the shoulders working your upper back working your chest working your arms a bit this is going to counteract a rounded upper back rounded shoulders so that's why we're going up and back, feel your chest stretch, and down. So just working the shoulders, working the chest, working the upper back. Good, one more up and back and down. Bring your hands to your thighs. We're gonna go into a seated twist. So inhale, and as you exhale, turn to your right, bring your left hand to your right leg, and then your right hand can be on the seat of the chair, can be on the back of the chair, can be on the leg of the chair, wherever it feels good to grab with that or hold with that right hand. Your hips and your knees stay centered and you're just twisting from the waist. So all the things that we're gonna do today are safe for osteoporosis. We're gonna breathe, sit tall and breathe, just a little seated twist. Good, we're gonna come out of this, inhale and come forward, hands to the thighs. Exhale, turn to your left. Your right hand comes to your left leg, and then your right hand can be on the seat of the chair, can hold the back of the chair, whatever feels good for that left arm, left shoulder. Sit tall, no rounding, no slumping. We're gonna breathe into the low belly. 
your hips and knees stay centered and you're just twisting from the waist. So with a diagnosis of osteoporosis, you don't wanna over twist or twist too deeply. So this is a nice seated twist, gentle. Inhale and come forward. And with a diagnosis of osteoporosis, you don't want to round the spine. So that's why we're always lengthening and we would come forward from the hips, keeping our spine nice and long. We're just going to warm up our legs and feet a little bit. Two versions of this of a point and flex. So come up to your toes and then lift your toes. Lift the heels, lift the toes, lift the heels, lift the toes. Okay. The other version is to lift. And you can alternate, lifting that leg and point and flex your foot. So when you lift that leg, you get a little bit more work in the thigh and a little bit more work in the hip. But you can keep your feet down and just lift toes, lift heels. Sit tall, don't slump. A couple more of these, great for the calves, great for the ankles, keeping our ankles mobile. Good. And then just relax the feet down. Now we're going to start those 10 exercises. I want to give you a little preview before I start the timer. The first one, we're going to alternate between upper body and lower body. So the first one is bicep curl. You're just going to imagine you're holding weights. You make a little light little fist and you're going to lift and lower. You want to keep those elbows right by your side. Okay. The next one is going to be marching for the lower body. And we're just going to lift one foot and lower one foot. So just a little seated marching. Next one is going to be a tricep kickback. So you're going to bend your arms, bring them up by your, bring your hands up by your shoulders, lean forward from your hips. We're not rounding. We're hinging forward from the hips and you're going to move those arms straight back and bring the hands back up by your shoulders. The shoulders don't move at all. Only the elbow is bending. Only the elbow is moving. Then we're going to come up to sitting. We're going to work our hips. Two versions. So it's a hip out and in like this. You can just step it out and step it in. Oh, bird just hit the window. Step it out and step it in. Or if you're feeling a little stronger, you can lift the leg. And so that foot hovers above the floor. You choose and you can go back and forth. If it, if it gets a little too much, you can go back to stepping and go to that little uh, lighter version. Next one's a shoulder press. So hands up here by your shoulders, you're going to press straight up towards the ceiling and come back down. You're sitting tall the whole time. Good. The next one for lower body is a leg extension. So you're going to stretch that leg out and we're going to alternate. So one goes out, you can hold on to the seat of the chair. And if you want a little uh, lighter version, a little less intense, you step it out and step it in instead of lifting and bending. Okay, so you're going to choose where you, whether you step it out and step it in. Next one for the upper body, pull back. So we're going to reach forward as if we're grabbing some handles and we're going to pull straight back and squeeze our shoulder blades together. So give yourself some imaginary resistance here as you're doing that. Good. Next one for lower body is I'm calling it squat lifts. So we're going to have our feet a little wider than our hips, hands on our thighs, and we're going to push into the hands and lift up and then sit back down. So you can just kind of lift a little squat and you sit back down, lift and squat. If you can't get up, if you can't get your bottom up off the chair, you just put, you just lift as high as you can, right? And you're going to pull that belly in as you're lifting and lowering. The next one is seated jumping jacks. So we're gonna bring our hands to our legs. We're gonna put the legs out and the hands up. And we're just gonna kind of step those legs out and come back. And you're just gonna do the best you can here. If it's small, if it's just a little small movement, perfectly fine. You're gonna start wherever you're at. And the last one is gonna be seated penguins for our side body. So we're gonna sit and we're just gonna lean to each side. Just sliding that hand down the side. So seated penguins. So that's our little preview of our 10 seated strength exercises for osteoporosis. I'm going to start the timer. You can use weights or no weights. I'm using no weights on this. We got a little five second um, preview and then we'll start. Hey, okay, bicep curls. 
Good. So we're just going to curl the biceps up, sit nice and tall, keep the elbows right by your side, right by your waist. They can just touch your ribs or touch your hips or touch that side body. Give yourself that little imaginary resistance as if you're having to lift something a little heavy, right? So especially if you're not using any weight, you give yourself that imaginary kind of isometric resistance when you come up and when you come down. If you're using weights, lower the weight slowly so you don't let gravity help you, right? You lift and lower slowly, whether you're using weights or cans of food or water bottles. Okay, we're going to rest, take a breath. The next one up is marching. So you can hold on to the side of your chair. The knees are stacked over your heels. Ready? We're going to start marching. Just lift one foot, lift the other. Lifting, lowering. A seated march. Make sure you're not slumping. Stay nice and tall. Lift your heart. Hug the belly in. Hug the belly up a little bit. Take some nice, even breaths. During any of these exercises, rest if you need to. And then rejoin us on that 50-second uh, time. You can even, you know, you can see the time. You can watch the time so you know how much longer you have. Good. Keep sitting tall. Breathing. We're going to rest. The next one is the tricep kickback. So you're going to lean forward, hinge forward from the hips, hands up by the elbows or by the shoulders, and you're going to kick them back and then bring the hands up. So extend the, let the hands back and bring the hands up. Give yourself that imaginary resistance. Keep your spine nice and long. Squeeze your shoulder blades together so there's no rounding of the upper back. There's no rounding of the lower back. Your back is nice and long. Your spine is nice and long. And we're just hinging from the hips. Nice, even breaths. Rest if you need. If you start out with some weights and you go, oh, these weights are getting heavy, you can just set the weights down and continue with no weights. Right? If you're using weights and you're like, hmm, or if you're using no weights and it's too easy, you can use them again. All right, rest. Sit up tall. We're going to do hips in and out. So sitting tall, you can hold to the chair. First version is step that right foot out, bring it in. Step the left foot out, bring it in. So that's version one where you're stepping out and stepping in. Okay. If you want to kick it up a notch, you let the foot hover above the floor as you bring it out and back in. So you do your version. You can switch back and forth from the stepping out and in to the hovering out and in. Sit tall, don't slump. You might have a tendency to want to round and slump, but that's not good for your spine. So you're going to sit tall and take some nice breaths. Good. We're going to rest. Take a breath. Next one is a shoulder press. So the hands are going to come up. Imagine you're holding a light dumbbell. Hands up by your shoulders. Sit tall. You're going to press the hands straight up to the ceiling. Bring the hands back down to the shoulder. So a nice, slow shoulder press. Give yourself that imaginary resistance. As if you're trying to have to lift something up towards the ceiling. And as if you're having to lower it down nice and slow and carefully. Nice long spine. Belly hugs in. Nice even breaths. You're doing great. Do this every day and you're going to find so much more strength and flexibility and energy. A few more. Good work. We're gonna rest. Good, bring those arms down. You can shake them out a little bit. Next is leg extensions. We've got two versions. You can hold on to the seat of the chair. 
first version is you're going to step the right foot out to the heel, bring it back in, left foot comes out, just tap your heel down. So that's our less intense version. You're stepping and extending that leg out. If you want to kick it up a notch, then you're going to lift the foot and it hovers, right? So you lift that foot and you stretch it out without letting that heel touch the ground. It can even be lower, okay? Or it can be higher, just depending on what your range of motion is. Make sure you don't round and slump towards the back of the chair. Use your hands to help you sit tall. Hug your belly in. Breathe. And you can switch back and forth from either version. Time to rest. Good, take a breath. Next one is gonna be what I call pullbacks. So we're gonna bring our hands forward, grab imaginary handles, and you're gonna pull back as if you're kind of rowing backwards. And then reach forward and pull back. When you pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale when you come forward, exhale when you pull back. Feel your chest stretch nice and slow. So right about shoulder level. You're reaching, grab some imaginary handles, and you're gonna pull back. Squeeze those elbows back. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Sit tall, no rounding, no slumping. You're doing great. You're doing so much good work for your body right now. You're gonna love the benefits you're gonna see. Couple more. Good, pulling back. Good, rest. The, the next one is squat lifts. So feet a little wider than the hips, hands on your thighs. And we're gonna press our hands into the legs and lift up and sit down. Lift up, sit down. Lift as much as you can. And if you can't get that bottom off the chair, believe me, your legs are still working. Your glutes are still working. Your hips are still working. So lift a little or lift a little more or just push. Just push those feet into the floor and push those hands into the floor. You're still getting good work for your legs, for your bones, for your hips. And you can adjust. If you're able to lift and then you get a little tired, then you can just sit and just push those feet into the floor and the hands into the legs. So you adjust. And as you do this, you're going to get stronger each day. Rest. We got two more. The next one is seated jumping jacks okay so we're gonna bring our feet out and our hands up good feet out hands up come back in hands to thighs try not to round try not to slump try to keep the spine nice and long you can adjust this where you can just be like a little a little a little jumping jack right you don't have to lift real tall especially if your shoulders or your hips are stiff you can adjust to a smaller one, or you can adjust to a bigger one. You can go back and forth. If you do these exercises every day, you're gonna get stronger each day. You're gonna be glad you did it. You gotta start somewhere. So start here with me. Couple more. Good. Good. And rest. Our last one of the 10 is seated penguins. Arms down by your side. Sit tall. Don't round. Don't slump. And you're going to lean to one side and then the other. So you're, you're leaning from the waist. The hips stay centered. And you're just going side to side. A seated penguin. Side to side from the waist. Letting those fingers reach towards the floor. Don't round your shoulders. Don't round the low back. Couple more breaths. You're doing this. You're almost done. Good. Side to side. Working that side body. The waistline. The love handles. The muffin top. Almost there. Good, and rest. Good. Let's just end it with three seated sun breaths. So arms come down by your side, 
Let's inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands down. Just a little cool down. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. One more. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Bring your hands to your thighs. You did great. You're doing, oh, it's starting again. I didn't think it was going to start again. You are doing great. Let me know what else you'd like to see. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You'll know, you'll be notified when I send out new videos. Hit the like button and send this, share this with someone that you think might benefit from it and especially practice it every day. So until next time, bye-bye.